Watch me do a backflip. Sogwa. <laughs> <laughs> It's very dangerous, and it's... Don't worry, Mama. I didn't get hurt, see? It's strictly against palace rules to play on the statues. Yes, Mama. I only wanted to have some fun. Well, you don't need to break rules to have fun. Look, why not play some key chance? You like that? <sighs> yes, Mama. Don't do this. Don't do that. One hour of calligraphy practice every day. Lick your food bowl clean and don't play with your food. Oh, and never ever jump onto the palace alley wall. You could fall oh, and be swept away by the sea. <laughs> Come on, let me give you a boost up. Shigwa, what are you two doing? Look, we saved the vase, Mama. <sighs> no, Shigwa. <laughs> it's strictly against palace rules to play in the palace. Sounds like Sogwa and Shigwa are in big trouble. You need to break rules to have fun. And you wouldn't have had to save the vase if you hadn't knocked it down in the first place. Yes, Mama. Ha! What have they done this time? Dongwa! <gasps> no muddy paws allowed in the palace. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Please clean that mess up right now. I'm trying! I'm trying! It's just not exactly getting any better, is it? Here, Dongwa, use this. <sighs> no, 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 Shigwa. Why don't you all just go outside and play? Yes, Mama! <laughs> <laughs> go outside and play. That's an easy rule to obey. <laughs> Great idea using the pillow as a mop, Shigwa. You got me out of cleaning up all that mud. Hey, the precious palace kittens. What are you doing outside? Looking for trouble? We're on an adventure. <laughs> yeah, you know, hunting for food. Hunting? But Cook is saving all those yummy... <laughs> Shouldn't you all be back in the palace braiding cherry blossoms in your hair? We are here because we were very naughty and broke the palace rules. Oh, you've been naughty, kittens, have you? <laughs> broke all the rules? Well, there's only one rule in the alley, and that's... Have fun! Ah. Ooh, whoop! Nice somersault, Shigwa. <sighs> Just imagine what life will be like with no rules at all. We could eat whatever we wanted. Wherever we 
wanted. And play whatever and wherever we wanted. And we could get the reader to... Oh, wait. With no rules, the palace wouldn't need a reader of the rules. But... but that would mean Mama and Baba wouldn't have any work. And that'd mean we don't have to leave the palace. No, no. The magistrate would still have to make rules for the villagers, just not for us. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Sure it's fair, because the magistrate would make a rule that cats must never obey the rules. But what if the magistrate made a really fun rule, like... Like on every full moon, everyone must stay up all night and fly a kite! Or, uh... Or... He wouldn't make rules like that. And even if he did... Huh? Shigwa! <laughs> uh, whoa! Whoa! Shigwa! Get her inside. She's catching a cold. Uh, 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 Shh, Shigwa. Mama can't see us like this. Oh, my poor dears. What happened? It, it's all my fault. I shouldn't have gone up on the alley. What? 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 Come. Let's get you all dried off and up to bed. I don't know what's wrong with you. <gasps> I haven't been able to come up with a single new rule for days now. Do you have any suggestions? <gasps> I thought not. It is far easier to read the rules than it is to... Link them up. Up, up, up! Up! It is strictly against puddle rules to have palaces in the puddle. Uh, I mean, against palace rules to have puddles. Who is responsible for this? Uh oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Achoo! Oh, dear. Is one of my little kitties ill? Why, you're all wet. They're all, all wet. Quick, fetch them each a bowl of hot broth. Oh, and bring me one, too. A big bowl. What's this? Seaweed? <laughs> Mama never scolded me, even though I broke one of her biggest rules. Yeah, walking the alley wall. That's much worse than doing a belly flop on a statue. Huh. And way worse than coming into the palace with mud on your paws. So that means I'm the naughtiest kitten of all. What? Doing what you did is nothing to be proud of. You could have been... Could have been... Ooh! And be swept away by the sea! Swept away by the sea. <laughs> you sound 
just like Mama. And you don't have to break the rules to have fun. Right? Right. You know something, Shigwa? Maybe Mama had the right idea. Oh. Hot broth. Nothing better. Ready? <clears throat> uh, no rule. If anyone should fall into the sea, they shall be entitled to a delightfully refreshing bowl of hot broth. Compliments of the palace. But only if they fall in accidentally. After all, rules are rules and they must be respected. Whoa! I got a noodle! Dongwa, you know the rules. Don't play with your food! Welcome to our beautiful village. This visit commemorates a time of great historical importance when your great, 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 <coughs> great grandfather first came from Italy and met with my great, 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 etc., etc., grandfather, setting the stage for centuries of peace and commerce between our two lands. Your Excellency, grazie mille for this beautiful and generous welcome. If only my great, great, great... <coughs> Excuse me. If only my ancestor could see this magnificent moment. We have a special reception plan for you. Right this way. Your Excellency, Your Grace, and the members of the court, it is my pleasure to travel here to your beautiful province to celebrate the anniversary of a very similar journey made many hundreds of years ago. A journey where your ancestor warmly hosted my ancestor, the legendary Marco Polo. And on that journey, Grand Papa Polo discovered the wondrous pasta right here in your land and took it back to Italy where pasta? it has become our most what beloved. What is he talking about? Food. I thought your ancestor gave him noodles. A gorgonzola cheese from uh, Gorgonzola? Cheese? What's that? <laughs> Oh. Just act grateful. I'm sure it is something very expensive. Oh, thank you, signore. Cheese? We've been out of it for, well, it feels like centuries. And for this most beautiful of Chinese flowers, an exquisite diamond necklace from Roma. Jewels like this could only grace the delicate mm -hmm. neck of one so lovely and refined as yourself. Oh, signore, I do not know what to say. And to commemorate your historic visit, we too have gifts for you. beautiful things you have here. Even your cats are so elegant, so unusual. I have been admiring them all afternoon. Molti belli. Well, signore, these cats are very special. They are our imperial cats. Not only are they beautiful, but they have a very unique talent. They can write beautiful calligraphy with their tails. Fantastico! To have a cat like this. Well, signore, 
If you like the idea so much, why don't you take one of our cats back with you to Italy? You can choose from one of these three fine kittens. Make your selection by tomorrow and let me know. You will have the first cat who can write for you in Italian. I just don't understand how the master could give one of us away. That's terrible. Terrible? It's awful. It stinks. Just like that stinky cheese that man brought with him. Zagwa, Gangwa. I'm scared. What if it's me? What if it's me? What are you two worried about? Of course it'll be me. I'm the strongest. I'm the best looking. I'm sure he'll pick me. <gasps> I don't want to leave you guys. I don't want to leave Mama and Bubba. And I sure don't want to go to Italy. Maybe nobody will have to go to Italy. Come here. Okay. Do not worry, my beautiful wife. Huh? I will not let the master give away any of our children. I will not let our family be broken up. But how? We will leave here if we have to. Other cats can live on the streets. So can we. Now we can forget our plan. Maybe we should still do it. How could you offer to give him one of our valuable cats? Well, my miraculous mango, it seemed like a good idea at the time. But what am I to do now? I cannot go back on my word. I would look very foolish. I cannot lose face. Well, we certainly cannot have you looking foolish, my dear. I will have to think of a way out. Signore, may I present you with our three imperial kittens. Sagwa, Dongwa, and Shigwa. They will now show you their very special gifts, and you will select one of them as your very own. Sagwa, you may go first. Ooh. Oh, Signore, I don't know what is wrong with her today. This kitten is a young master of the martial arts. Whoa! I'm ready to whisk them out of the room if I have to. But I think our three smart children may have worked out their own plan. Signore, I just don't know what is wrong today. Usually, this one is very strong and... Oh, it is all right. Do not worry. What about this little one? Bambina, bambina, caro, what's wrong, my little kitty? Quick, dip your paws in the pepper. We'll put it on each other and make him sneeze. Wow. While we're at it, let's put some in his tea. Now, to make my choice, perhaps this pretty kitty. Hmm. <laughs> Well, perhaps not this one. Maybe her brother. Push the teacup over toward him. But, daughter Bia, I didn't realize I had an allergy to cats. Hey there, Mia Bellissima, my little one. Do you want to come back to Italy with me? What a nice kitty. And you even brought me tea. Grazie. Yes, I think you are the one. <laughs> Mamma mia! I thought we Italians liked things spicy, but this tea is... <laughs> I must say, these cats make me feel very strange. No, no, it's nothing. Niente. I will take one of these cats. After all, how could I refuse your generous gift to me? I would be so rude. 
So I will take... I will take... the little one. She is so very cute. And she doesn't make me sneeze like the other ones do. Come here, little one. Stop! Wait! Just a moment! <sighs> Signore... Signore, we have made a terrible mistake by offering you one of our cats. What? What? You, you change your mind? You see, Signore Poro, our cats can only write in Chinese. That is all I know. So, I'm afraid that these cats would be quite useless to you. They will just be a source of continual embarrassment to you when you return no, home. That's you. Oh, to say nothing of all that sneezing, my goodness. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. To make up for all of this, my husband would like to offer you a gift which is much more appropriate and much more grand, if I do say so myself. A special gift. One which I have painted for you myself. A painting of your ancestor and my husband's ancestor depicting their first meeting together so many centuries ago. And here it is. Oh. <laughs> it's... 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 Uh, magnificent! Please accept this gift with our most humble good wishes for a safe and serene trip back to your homeland. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie, Mili. You're welcome. Quite welcome. And now, Signore, before the trade winds shift to an undesirable direction, you better be on your way. May the gods watch over you, etc., etc., and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Have a wonderful journey. Ciao! You didn't know I was such a brilliant artist, did you? No, I didn't. Absolutely brilliant. Cook, let there be extra fish for the cats tonight. And while you're at it, prepare an extra special meal for my generous husband. It's time for all of our families to be together tonight.